Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So I went to check out the Hathorn house myself. But I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I... didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything? Anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. I found his office, but he kinda never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well, but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right, are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. This tour sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. Huh. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah? Do you mind if I look around the house? Ugh, oh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? This cozy fireplace hasn't been used in a while. Rust be gone. Now that's handy. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. The Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up.
It is a note. But why tear it up like this? Hi. So, I found this letter. What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. So? So, I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. I'm done talking, okay? neighborhood looks peaceful from up here. Huh? I probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Ned! Hi! Nance, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey! Give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... Yeah. I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Maybe check out the witch tour? Something might pop out at us. Ugh, are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool. And you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The truth is, magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Most exist now only in secret. And they may be standing among you even now. It is said. 
that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the Witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. Even Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you? regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? How did you perform that trick? <laughs> a witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. nights. It gets busier around Halloween, and I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good, because I've already spoken with them. And so, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Have you lived in Salem for long? Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you are looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their own. I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword, living. The world is composed of two equal parts, dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds, it's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark 
is the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, the dark will appear. Usually, when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem, because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. Talk to you later. Fire at Hathorn House. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. May Perry. You don't think she'd do it again, do you? She was so young. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hmm. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. Salem. That doesn't keep the town from getting into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> <laughs>